Hello my lovely viewers. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do this really cute and simple Easter design. It includes all things Eastery, like the bunny, the eggs, and spring flowers. So the first step is to take Krivlin White and make the ear shape on your forehead. And we're going to have them kind of folding over themselves so that it fits on the forehead more naturally. Um, ears that stick straight up, to, they're not very flattering. Um, when you paint them that way and then for the inner ear just put a little bit of pink I used um, a mixture of neon magenta and white and then I took the neon magenta color and shaded it and then used my finger to blend out the shading just so it gave it a little bit more dimension next to fill in the center of my forehead instead of hair I decided to do flowers so I used this really pretty creamy bright rose Krivlin split cake. I love this cake, it's beautiful. So I used that dark purple on the side and then for the inner ears, it was that uh, middle magenta color that I used for inside those ears. But I just placed flowers in the center instead of hair because I thought it was cuter that way. For the eggs, I made my own stencils with the transparency paper and I just cut out an oval with scissors. It's not perfect, obviously, uh, but that doesn't really matter. It doesn't really show up in the shape how it's kind of disfigured. And I'm using that really pretty um, bright rose cake to pounce on my bigger eggs, as you can see here. And then for my smaller eggs, I'm using the Petals Creamy Split Cake, which is an amazing, bright, and wonderful split cake as well. I am completely in love with these new creamy split cakes. They're absolutely wonderful. So as you can see, I'm just pouncing that on. So just a smaller um, egg, and I tilted it inwards um, just because I thought it was more aesthetically pleasing that way. Now I'm taking the Jungle Split Cake. This is also a new creamy split cake. And I'm taking just the neon green and yellow from that. And I'm putting the yellow on top to help um, give like dimension with highlights and shadows and whatnot. And just placing that within the eggs. So right underneath the eggs and beside the eggs. And this is gonna be the background for our grass. And it's also gonna kind of tie the whole thing together and make it look more cohesive. Now I'm outlining my ears. And what I did, I just mixed a little bit of black and white together to make it gray. I usually just do that right in my cakes. Um, you can wipe away whatever color you don't want left on the cakes, but it's easy to do it that way. I didn't want it to be super harsh with black, so I used gray. And I used white to outline the eggs to keep them soft as well. I wanted to keep all bright colors um, more as the focal point, not as the outlining. I didn't want to have any harsh black or, you know, dark purples or whatever. So quickly outline your eggs and then you can fill them in with whatever decorations you want. These are the decorations I chose, just like, you know, the little zigzags and a line. And then for the little one, um, I did dots because those are super fast and easy. And the last step is to add the grass. So I'm just using the dark green from that jungle creamy Krivlin split cake and I did this in clusters so you start with a general focal point and then you kind of flick your brush out in varying directions from there and make little clusters all along the base of the eggs and that'll give a good grass like effect finish it off with the light green from that same creamy cake and layer that right over the top of the grass and then just tie the whole thing together with some dots and that's it you're done i hope you guys like this if you haven't done so already please like comment and subscribe check me out on facebook and instagram um, those links are below as well as all of the products i use in this video and where you can buy them bye guys